Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. We unlocked World 4. Did a little sweet mystery, and we were pretty super massive, so instead. Not instead, I guess. Including, I don't know what word I was going for there. Let's do. Let's get flip flopping. Let's get political. Let's get flip flopping. This little, uh. Galaxy, very quickly, will teach you a new mechanic. For those of you who are familiar yes. with Super Mario World, if you remember, you pop to these grates, and when you jump back to the other side, you can bonk your enemies. Now, I will tell you in advance, this level has a lot of coins in it. And you might be thinking to yourself, man, that's a lot of coins. There's probably a coin luma. Well, you're wrong. There's not. So don't even bother. Just keep on your merry way. There's Captain Toad up there, main in the fort for us. And we have a lot of Bow Wows, Chain Chomps. Some of them, when they explode, especially smacking into each other, there's candy. Now, how many times have you been around someplace and smacked your balls together and there's been candy? Probably not a lot. But today, you're in luck. Okay. So we will hold surf here. Oop. <laughs> that was not ideal. You don't want to get crushed. That's a no-no. Ooh, run. But as you can see, two of them have already smashed together. Two more smashed together. We gotta be careful. We're gonna lose the life shrimp. Confirmed, by the way. Whew. That was close. So yeah, you can just keep switching the grates, flipping the gravity. In doing so, you can get some coins or star bits, depending upon what type of enemy it is. These guys look real dopey. I love it. Get used to that mechanic. You're going to need to use it. So prepare yourself. But yeah, I don't really know in certain galaxies why a coin is so prevalent if there's no coin luma. Seems a little misleading. Hmm, game. Oops. <laughs> so avoid the soundproof foam here. It's very dangerous and also tastes like strawberry. It's danger berries. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of these guys. I think it's just to get you acquainted with the mechanic you're gonna be using here in a moment. Prepare yourself. You'll never guess. Oh, what could that be? <gasps> there's a Luma shop if you need it. More star bits. To grease the wheels a little bit before we uh, meet whoever this is. Uh, ma'am? Hello? Excuse me? Hello? Well, this is rude. I don't think a very good host. Maybe if we tickle your belly. Does that help? Hello? Oh! What have we done? We hit her weak spot for maximum damage. Oh, she is stomping mad. So the mechanic you just learned about Smation bellies, you're gonna see how great you are at it. Go on through the other side. Oops, I just missed. Great. She will crawl on the other side of the... I don't know what it is exactly, a lily pad maybe? Something, something weird. She looks like one of those leaf, uh, those bugs that eats leaves, which is a lot of bugs. Okay, that was real stupid. I don't know. You, you bug, leaf eating thing creature? Yes. Words, ha. Okay, so that's basically all you have to do. The only downside is it's easier said than done. She fills up the holes with her goo. So you gotta be quick. And lure her to some of the unexposed grates. Make it so that way she can't cover them up. 
Ooh, I just missed. Yeah, basically, you don't you want her to shoot on the not covered ones. Oh no. And those things will set you on fire. You touch them as noted. That was a tutorial. There are coins on the edges though. So yes, yeah, so you gotta kinda lure her away from the spots. So she can't fill them up with her weird fiery nectarines. This this battle's a little challenging. It's definitely one of the harder bosses to do until you get kind of the idea down. He's just gonna continue to follow you around. The AI is pretty smart on this one, unfortunately. So you want her to basically fire away in between the grates. And if I don't do well, I'm gonna have to sift through my through my thoughts later, so. It's basically as she's coming at you. This one might work because she might jump over it. Yes, okay. That worked. Now things are gonna get a little spooky. Ooh, she mad. Oh lord, she mad. Ooh. Oh, come on. No, Mario, run. Okay. Yeah, just kind of kite her around. Ah, oh, boy. Ooh, I almost got her into buns. All right, come on. You're shooting right over it. Do it. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what you do. If you can get her to, to shoot her goo right over the right over the holes, that's what you want. Oh, man. Getting greedy. Need coin. Excuse me. All right. Things are fine. Guys, it's fine. Just relax. Come on. Come on, lady. Oof. Where are you going? Yeah, this fight is pretty tricky, and it's long. Long and hard, for sure. So stick with it. Don't give up. This should be a winner. Come on. There it is. Yeah, pretty tricky fight. But thankfully, we have rendered her lifeless. Yeah, that's what you get for having a nap on your own little place. Get out of here. Nobody naps in Mario's world. How'd that feel, lady? First star. We're getting darn close to halfway. It's amazing. Well, sort of halfway. <gasps> what does that mean? Okay. We have opened up another split path. Potentially we'll explore all of those today. Mm -hmm. And it appears Mail Toad has a letter for us for Baby Luma. To my lost Luma. If you're ever feeling alone, just know that your friends are behind you. And I love being behind people. I hope the attached item is helpful. May the star shine down on you. I feel like we've already read that before, but... Not gonna complain. 50 free star bits. Thank you, crazy Rosalina Stranger. Okay. So we've opened up the Honey Hop Galaxy. This should look familiar to all of you. I think I didn't grab the uh, Comet Medal from the last one, but that's okay. We got some sweet silver stars to grab. So sweet. Pay attention to this galaxy and burn it into your memory. You'll be back. In the classic yes. Honey Hive music, as we've all become accustomed to. I hope that the, the B power-up isn't polarizing, because it's really good. It's one of my favorites. It's very simple and silly, and I like it. And if you don't like it, then you don't like good things. Fact. And apparently, playing this game, my Wii does not like it either. Okay, here we go. Wii! Get it? Okay. 
Let's get swinging here. And be mindful of the water, because we don't want to get wet. You can recharge your bee meter with coins or landing, which is the same thing, apparently. You don't want to get bonked by enemies either, because they will take away your ability to fly. So you got to be patient. Excuse me. Also collecting another power up. Oh, collecting another power up does not refill it. Okay, lesson learned. Kind of rude there, game, huh, wouldn't you say? All right, so we got to dodge these bubbles here. Oh, or not, okay. Game is kind enough to put a power up right in the corner because it knows that we're dumb. It's like, well, here you go, you big old goof. All right, nope, wrong button. I always ask myself in previous episodes, man, why is the game providing so many power-ups? And then I realize it's because it's me. I'm the reason. No, stop it. <laughs> I love that brief drowning sound effect. Poor Mario. The game is forcing us to be slow and steady, and I don't want to. What have you got to say for yourself? Floaty fluff. Shake the Wiimote to float with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop these balloons. Get some stir bits. This was a mechanic in the first game, which I couldn't figure out right away, and I looked like an idiot for it, so okay. So up above, over there, we've got some silver stars to grab. So we will do that. There's also a life shroom. I don't know. I don't know why the game feels like you need one there, but I don't know if I agree. Seems a little excessive. But what we do need to grab are these silver stars. Five of them, as per usual. Don't you forget it. You can safely land on these flowers, which is convenient. We've got a whole little world to explore here. And we will be coming back, don't worry. This level is used quite a bit. And we've got Queen Bee here. She's got an itchy spot on her back. Oh yeah, don't worry lady, we got gotcha. you. We've been there before, huh? Okay. Oops. There is all kinds of chaos happening right now. Would like to move away from it. Okay. So we've still got a couple more to find. Annoyingly, those flowers will disappear if you are not B Mario. So they are definitely prejudiced against humans. Rude. These ones will try to eat you, though, so you will want to be careful. Oop. All right. So let's find that final silver star. What do you guys say for yourself? All new bee recruits. You gotta be on time. All right, is this the only area I can go? I think so. All right, so we got one more to find. Let's see if we can do it. Oop, this is about to touch the water. Okay, so it's probably around the corner here. I sounded real stupid saying that. It's probably around the corner here. Yeah, there it is. Beautiful. That's five silver stars. Cut it however you like it. This is more of a reasonably timed episode. Oh, there's the Comet Medal, too. Almost forgot that. You gotta be better about those. Oh, nope. Okay. <laughs> now I just have to spend time getting all the way up there again. It's very anticlimactic. Would have probably made the most sense to save the one on the Queen's back. For number five. I didn't think of that. Clearly. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, game. Just let me up there. Cut me some slack. Being a long day. There we go. Star number two. You'd love to see it. Okay. And yeah, I don't think I went and I grabbed the uh, Comet Medal. I hope I don't have to do that fight again. If I did forget it in the last level, which I guarantee that I did. Oh, Lava. We've used the B power up already. Why are you waiting? He wants to use his unusual toy. Lava, what you do in your own time is your business. Leave me out of it. All right, so we're back at it. Let's go check the Comet. Because I definitely forgot the one on Flipsville. Right? Did I get it? I did not. Okay. Okay. Well, hopefully I can just get this and leave. I don't know if that's how that works or not. Let's check it out. I don't want to do two stars of Flipsville yet. I'm trying to break it up. Alright, I gotta remember where it is. I did see it earlier. I just forgot to grab it. Cut me some slack, viewers. Or don't. Punish me. Whatever you're into. Okay, I want to say it's over here. Yeah, I can see it. Can I just grab this and leave? Does that count? Can I return to map now? I don't know if that's how that works. Let's find out. Does it count? It does not. Oh, no. Okay, well. Then we'll either be doing that boss fight again. Or, uh, maybe I can grab it in star number two. If not, I will probably do that off camera. If I can't grab it in star two, because that fight took way too long and it was not worth it. So here we are. This is another, oh, another silver star galaxy. They're really just laying it thick. But it's almost summertime. Maybe a chance to go to the beach. Enjoy this tune at least. It's a very good one. Those of us who don't live near beaches normally. We're surrounded by beaches, but we don't live near one, so. It's all about your state of mind. Got some piantes from Galaxy and our boy Yoshi. So let's take this track to the next level. That's a little nice little bongo rhythm in the background very fun just makes you a little wistful for summer okay oops that's rude Yoshi come back sorry Yoshi I'm sorry I don't know if I can throw anything no we gotta get we gotta have crabs okay or spinies I think they both work but probably spinies that's kind of been the recipe for success. We'll get a little closer because I can't tell where the pointer is going. There we go. That's a silver star. And you viewers, you're all silver stars or gold stars or whatever you want to be. Here at DMike Industries, we pride ourselves on letting our viewers have autonomy to be whatever they want. And there's all kinds of things you can be like a hungry maniac, like Yoshi. So this level is, um, it's okay. It just has a lot going on. And I mean that, like, getting all of the, uh, green stars, green stars, oops. Getting all of the silver stars, oops. I also do love Dash Yoshi. It's probably one of my favorite power-ups ever. Okay, you can cool your jets, Yoshi, we're done. You've had enough. Need to rotate this bobber so we can hop on top of the cake here and... Oh, it's a trampoline. Move it over a little bit more this way. A little more this, no, that's the wrong way. No, stop. There we go, that's probably pretty good. Oh my gosh, just do what I need you to, Yoshi, stop. 
I just want to. I just. I just want to go to the tip. Just the tip. Come on. All right. Can I get it? Oh my goodness. This should not be this difficult. <laughs> like the depth perception here is super hard. Oh my gosh. It looks like you can have it, but you just can't have it. It's gotta be perfection, apparently. All right, that looks good. Come on. There it is. All right, that's four. Let's see where number five is. I don't quite know. There's a caged-in area for a. I don't remember what this berry is called—a puff berry or something. I don't know. And I don't know if a crab is the right creature to throw. Well, if you threw it right, you'd find out, but apparently not. So instead, we will lure the Lakitu. Nah, never mind. We'll just grab one of his spiny buds. Oh my gosh. Don't you do this to me. Don't. Go, she stop. Get your act together. That's right. You deserve that. I'm gonna lick your back. That's the first and hopefully only time I'll ever say that phrase in my entire life. So we will slowly and arduously... I don't know if this coral can kill me. Probably can, but I want to grab a coin for safety. Okay. Hang in there, Yoshi. Oh my... <laughs> kid me. Can we do it with crabs? Can crabs solve the problem? Yes. All right, so we get to use the... Whatever these are. I think there's one in the air, maybe. I don't think we have enough to get up there all the way. We do, never mind. All right, now it's probably gonna put the gold star like a million miles away, knowing my luck. Okay, that's not horrible. But it gets rid of the good music. Ugh. Boo. I mean, I don't mind the star get music, but it's inferior to this music 100%. That's without question. Okay. So yes, we have completed this. Hopefully this pacing is better for all of you. I realized in the last time that I was doing episodes, I was like knocking out galaxies one after another, and that's not quite as fun to watch. So we're trying to mix it up. We're gonna have some fun. I mean, it should always be fun. Okay, that's opened up that path, which we'll worry about later. And playing this, I kind of get this like weird, like sort of nostalgia for what I'm doing. Like thinking, I, I'm getting confused because this game is very similar to the first one. And part of me is not sure if I'm like already doing these levels or if it's just me remembering them. But anyway, Chompworks Galaxy, where the chomps are made of gold. Okay. This galaxy has a very fun comment. And by very fun, I mean not fun at all. So prepare yourselves. Lots of chomps. You can already see the comet metal. And our boy Luigi's gonna take over for us. He's looking a little pale though. He needs to spend some time sitting in the sun, get some of that vitamin D. You'll never know how important it is until you go with app. All right, so this one is all about these little platforms that can sink down. You obviously can't go that way. Weird, I don't know how the game was supposed to tell me that I couldn't. Yes. These little platforms that gradually sink. Jump over top, grab the Comet Metal. Remember to do that. Like I said, in the previous... Ooh, <laughs> whoa. In the previous mission or so. Get out of here, you know what? Excuse you. In the previous mission, or mission before last, I did miss the uh, Flipsville comment. So I will be grabbing that one off camera. You saw where it was at least. So I'm being fair. Okay, so this is like a little bit of an obstacle course creator that we have to build for the big chomps. First, let's check this pipe. 
Hit that pipe. Ooh, gambling. Hit the pipe and gambling. They go very well together. You'll probably not do one without the other. Okay. Okay. We're gonna life out of it. Take that. Bye. See you, bye. Ignore the Goombas. In this case, you don't have to do much with it, but you do have to... Oof. Yoshi is a little slippy slidey. That's kind of his gimmick. Super fun. Complete honesty. Alright, so here we go. Some flip switch switches. Oop, nope. Nope. Excuse you. Got a bit of a seesaw going on here. We like that. And activate the chain chomp. I don't know exactly where the game intends for you to go, but I want to explore up here for a moment. It's nice that the game lets you do this. Holy moly, that's a ton, and it's a chain chomp! Look at that. It pays to explore. Your surroundings and yourself. Okay. So we need to have this chain chomp come over here. And fill up. Oh, no. Oh, man. <laughs> I shouldn't be alive. So build a platform for it. Send it home. Somehow creates a launch star. I don't know. It is what it is. But man, we got a ton of starbits from that chain chomp outline. You'd love to see it. Whew. Definitely make sure to grab your... Uh... Make sure to grab your halfway points, etc. I don't know what all this does, but... Yes, we're building a bit of an obstacle course. So you want to clear the way. You can't have your chain chomp getting obstructed here by all these annoying creatures. So bonk them off the road. Get out of here. Oops, excuse you. Okay. You can even hear the... Okay, that's fun. Oh. Depth perception, is that a premium here? All right. So we'll grab the star bits while we're over here. You can see it's on a track. So you got to get ahead of it a little bit. Thankfully, this is as far as it goes, so it will not dip into the lava. But it's going to be coming in hot. So you got to get it going. Let it follow you around. I remember I used to do these like little marble mazes when I was a kid. That was kind of a fun little activity. I think I did it at school, maybe? I don't know. But the final spot right here, get on the blue thing. Let it follow the track. Oh, I mean, that would have been bad. Crush your enemies, boom star. Easy peasy, squeezy, schneezy. Okay, great. Well done, Luigi, grabbing our final star for the day. Okay, Yaha's right. Excellent. A well-timed episode, just under the 30-minute threshold. Feeling awesome? That's almost halfway there. And that ghost in Chompworks Galaxy, ooh. That's gonna be fun. We love it. But you'll never guess what uh, gimmick they're gonna add to that one. Another letter from... Mail Toad, help wanted. I've got some cosmic odd jobs I need done. Slackers need not apply, especially in this economy. If you're ready to work, come to Boulder Bowl Galaxy. I'll make it worth your while. Oh, Guillermo. When you speak to me like that, this gets me a hot bothered to work. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so that's it for the day. 56 stars, feeling awesome. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been Dean Mike, this has been Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I'll see you next time. Bye.